What's going on everybody? Hope you had a great six weeks. Um, we finished up the grind. Uh, we have a deload week, kind of like a transitional week to the next cycle of workouts that is going to start next week. Um, this one is called a deload week. It's going to be more of a strength driven with some cardio aspects in there. We can slow it down a little bit. If you've been pushing yourself for the last six weeks, we're going to go lighter in weight, not worry about so much the, the, the amount of weight we're pushing, just bring that weight down a little bit, work on form, kind of regather, do all that. Um, so we are going to go into like a little uh, push-pull aspect and a metabolic leg aspect. It'll be a vertical push-pull, horizontal push-pull, then legs, metabolic conditioning. Vertical push pull will be like overhead press and some kind of pull up movement. Um, and then uh, push vertical push pull or horizontal push pull will be like more of a chest press in a row. Okay, so we're going into two different planes here. So vertically and a push and a pull horizontally. So we're going to start with a vertical push pull workout. It is 40-20 with a two minute kicker after about four movements. So we're gonna go with overhead press to start. So you got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of recover. We have just strict overhead press, 40 seconds. Remember, we can go a little bit lighter in weight. We don't have to go super heavy. Um, if you're still feeling good, you know, you can take you know a little bit heavy, but this week we're really gonna focus on form and slowing things down a little bit, bringing that weight down a little bit, kind of like a recovery, active recovery, um, week after that so you got over at press the first one then you got Superman lap pulls all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down on the ground we're gonna get in that Superman position here all right and then we're gonna squeeze the lats down squeeze the lats down we're gonna do that for 40 seconds okay if you want you can add weight to it okay but we just need to literally squeeze those shoulder blades together we want the shoulder blades to be moving like this rather than like this. On a bent over row, we're here. On a Superman lap pull, we want our shoulder blades to go like that. From there, you're gonna to go to lateral raises, dumbbells, kettlebells, plates, whatever you need to grab. All right, we got lateral raises right here. All right, 40 seconds. Then the last 40 seconds is gonna be pull-ups. Okay, if you don't have a lot of pull-up rigs or anything, you got the TRX you can use for pull-ups, we can utilize that. There's a lot of different things you can utilize. You can also have people start at different points, so you have time to clean in between um, people using the equipment. So, still practicing social distance, still practicing spacing, all that. Um, but we are going to put a pull-up movement in there. Viewing it in here is by the TRX. So you got a short TRX strap, all right? You want it about hip height, and we're literally going to sit back into it, all right? And we're gonna do our pull up right here. Want those lats to engage, all right? So you got TRX pull ups, you gotta use, if you want, want them to go out and use the rig, they can use the rig. If you got pull up bars, use pull up bars, however you wanna get it done. That's where we're doing that. All right. So then, so you got 40, 20 for four movements. Then you're going to go after that last 40 seconds after the pull-ups, you'll get a 20 second break. Then you got a 200 meter run. Okay. There's two minutes on that clock at that point. Okay. However long it takes you to get around the building at my club, it's around the building or you, wherever your 200 meter course is, the remaining time you have to rest. So the idea is to go as fast as you can come back, rest for a minute or so. If you need to scale that down, by all means, scale it down. Bring it down to 50, uh, 100 meters. If it's a walk, bring it down to 100 meters. Maybe it's a 50 meter sprint. Wherever you need to be in your deload week, it's totally fine. After that, it's push press. Three to six inch bend, press, 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 okay? We want to use those legs on a push press. Weighted Superman is next. We're going to get down on the ground. All right. We're in that Superman position. 
and we're just gonna have dumbbells in our hands and we're gonna do our Superman this way, all right? And it's a little bit more upper back lat activation as you're doing that Superman, which is mainly for your lower back and glutes. From there, we're going lat pulls. We're gonna go banding lat pulls. So if you have bands, hang them on something that you have in your room. We are gonna be in a bent over position and we're gonna do our lat pulls this way. If you have a ring or a cable machine, by all means, use that for your lap pulls. Remember, social distancing, all that. Space people out if you need to. You can also do those lap pulls here for pull-ups. If you got enough space that people can do it, you can strap those to a spin bike or anything that has weight, and you can do your lap pulls that way. And then finally, dumbbell shrugs. We're going to be right here. I don't know. I don't know. I call them I don't knows. All right, all we want to do is hold the dumbbells down. We're going to pull it straight up, right back down. Right up, right back down. We don't have to pull and shake our head. They're just getting our shoulders up, right back down. Then you got your 200 meter run. So you're going to do that whole thing twice. All right, so 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20, 200 meter run, rest, and so on. There is no big long rest in between those two rounds, okay? So it's basically, it's gonna be 24 straight minutes of work with the rest being how fast you get the 200 meter done and of course your 20 seconds. Then in this new cycle that's coming up, we're gonna do working the midline section, okay? Midline is anything that's gonna, we can come with dumbbell snatches, we can do complex movements, anything that's focusing on the midline which is basically all through here, just very similar in body armor, but it might not just be straight core movements, okay? Body armor, we focus more on core movements. Now we might get bring in those complex movements for this second part, um, for our midline section, um, work in the core still, okay? But we're gonna be doing some stuff in a line. So like the very first movement is going to be dumbbell snatches and single arm overhead walk, all right? So our midline is gonna be vertical this time, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take 15, or you're gonna do 15 dumbbell snatches from the ground all the way up, all with your right arm. After you do 15, you're gonna do a 100 meter overhead farmer's walk. On your last one, number 15, you're up, and we're gonna walk in an overhead form right here okay for 100 meters all right after that you're going to do 15 with your left then 100 meter overhead walk okay you are going to do that three times and it's a seven minute time cap okay that's our midline work anything overhead when we're walking with it we got to be active through the entire midline all right all the way through to maintain that weight above our head Try not to get here. If you need to drop it down, shake the arm out, whatever, stop walking, pick it back up and go. All right? So we got our 40, 20 of work with that 200 meter run in between. We got two rounds of that, no rest in between. It's just getting through it, lightweight, medium weight. Don't have to get super heavy. Work the movements, work the movements perfectly. Okay, get good at all these. It is a vertical push-pull. Then we're gonna work a midline, and then finally, that is workout number one, deload week of August.